Hey girls, we're told not to wash our hair every day, but I'm kind of getting sick and tired of throwing it up in a ponytail. So while I was spending some time last week with Redkin Canada, I thought I would pick the stylist brains a little bit and find some cute hairstyle alternatives for that second day hair. This first look was inspired by the Chloe Compare show, which featured a really beautiful casual grunge braid. My hair is super slippery and fine, so in order to give it some much needed grit and texture to do this style, I used a volumizing foam spray. Section off the bottom layer of your hair and spray one to two inch sections all over. Repeat the same process for two more layers of hair or more layers if you have thicker hair. Then set the product in your hair and amplify the volume with a blow dryer. Flip your hair all over to one side and use a brush to blow dry the hair, then flip it over to the other side. And BAM! Insta volume! Soak up any excess oils, spray a dry shampoo in three layers on each side of the head directly on the roots. Then use your hands to gently work the product into the hair. Use a comb and create a side part starting at about the inner corner of the eye. We're going to create the French braid on the side of the head with the lesser amount of hair. Since my hair is fine, I'm using a lifting and teasing spray along with back combing to give a little bit more texture and volume. Then take a section of hair in the front and start a standard French braid, grabbing new sections of hair from underneath your current braid. The braid should go back at an angle behind your ear. Here's a tip, if you have difficult to style hair like I do, try spritzing the teasing spray into your hair while you're braiding and also on your hands. It gives some tackiness and makes it a lot easier to braid. End the braid around your jawline and tie it off just by teasing the ends. To give your braid that bedhead grunge look, just gently pull on some random loops to soften the braid. For the other side, take a few sections and braid a few small braids to give it that boho vibe. You can do as many or as few as you want. Now onto the loose curls. I'm using a one and a half inch barrel. For the front piece, take that section and brush it forward. Turn the barrel of the curling iron upright and wrap the top section of hair around the barrel. Then add the bottom section of hair, wrapping all away from the face. For the rest of your hair, just choose a long vertical section and wrap the hair away from the face. And if you're rushed in the morning, try braiding your hair in big loose braids, except for the two smaller braids obviously, with a bit of mousse and then all you have to do is do the French braid in the morning and then you're good to go. For hairstyle number two, I wanted to do a really versatile look that you could really change up depending on your style or the occasion. Now I was working off of third day hair in this, so my hair is a little bit extra grungy. I took Fabricate, which is a heat activated texturizer, to add some much needed grit to my hair and make it a lot easier to work with. Just spritz it into your hair and then blow dry your hair in the direction of the style. Follow up with some dry shampoo sprayed into the roots. Now because my hair is quite thin, I wanted to create a bit more volume, so I used teasing spray to help hold the back combing and just back comb sections at the top and sides of my head. Then smooth it out and throw it up into a ponytail. Now use either a regular elastic or a tip that one of the Redkin stylists shared with me is taking an elastic and hooking bobby pins on either side of the elastic. Then hook one bobby pin into the bottom base of the ponytail, wrap the elastic twice around the ponytail, and then slide the other pin into the ponytail, crisscrossing with the first one if you can. This makes it a lot easier to remove at the end of the night and it also holds the style a lot better. Now flat iron the ponytail in sections, curving the hair slightly under and spray with a shine spray. Now take us an elastic and create a loop in the ponytail, leaving the ends free. And to keep the ends looking really smooth, I use a bit of argan oil and rub them into the ends just to make it really easy to wrap them. All you're going to do is take one section that's sticking out from underneath the loop and wrap it counterclockwise around the ponytail holder. Then pin with a bobby pin. Do the same exact thing with the other piece and pin in place. Spritz with a bit of hairspray and smooth down the bun a little bit. Add a couple of wispies around your face to kind of soften the look. And you can really just play with it from there. And check out the info bar below. I have a link to my blog where there is a giveaway. And Redkin was kind enough to provide me with some amazing products for you guys to try out. So I'm giving away five gift baskets. Good luck for all of those that are entering. And uh, I will talk to you all in my next video. Love you girls so much. Mwah!